Hello and welcome to a new episode and a new video about narcissism. If you are interested in our topics about narcissism, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell so that you receive all our upcoming episodes. The narcissist never likes to lose control over anything he used to dominate before, even if he no longer desires that thing. In this episode, we will explore what happens when the narcissist is sure that he has indeed lost you, and what the narcissist will think about after this happens. The narcissist will perceive the situation as a terrible insult to him because he feels the most happiness when he is the one in control. This means that he is the one who leaves the victim, not the other way around. The possibilities of hitting his self-esteem are certain, and there is no room for doubt. In most cases, the narcissist starts doing anything to regain control over you. One of the things that definitely happens to the narcissist is his intense feeling of anger, leading him to resort to all revengeful behaviors he knows, considering you as an item with no purpose other than meeting his basic needs. Feeling that you are using a person for your benefit and exploiting his feelings for your own gain is very painful. However, in normal relationships, in a relationship with a narcissist, this is fundamental to his personality and characteristics. Therefore, the narcissist is always searching for anything that meets his needs in the social environment in which he lives. For the narcissist, anyone is considered something that can fulfill these needs, namely narcissistic supply. This supply compensates him for any feelings of inadequacy and weakness in his personality, making him feel superior to others. When the narcissist feels that he has lost his victim, he will do anything in the world to ensure that he regains control over her. This is certainly not out of love, but out of greed for the constant narcissistic supply he seeks throughout his life, whether with her or with anyone else. When the narcissist feels that he has lost his victim, this is very humiliating to his personality and pride. He will have a burning desire to regain her once again. The narcissist does this even if he was the one who ended the relationship with you. It's not a requirement at all that the narcissist is actively seeking you and trying to get you back because you left or ended the relationship. However, even if he was the one who left you, there comes a time when he searches for you again and puts in every effort to regain control over you. When the narcissist tries to bring you back into the relationship, and you reject him, it is very painful for him because rejection is what hurts the narcissist the most, slowly killing him. The narcissist sees you as an ordinary object or tool that he has the right to control, use whenever he wants, discard when he's done with it. Moreover, the narcissist might seek revenge against you due to your refusal to return, using any weapon at his disposal to subjugate you and regain control or to punish you if you reject his request to reconcile. It's essential to understand that the way a narcissist interacts with you can vary slightly from one narcissist to another based on their nature and personality, but the approach is generally the same. You should try to discern what actions the narcissist might take or the nature of his reactions when you reject him. The narcissist may attempt to harm you physically, verbally, or damage your reputation in his efforts to bring you back under his control. When he does this, he often does not realize the pain or harm he causes because he considers it his right to use you as his personal possession. The narcissist is a master manipulator and possesses a level of cunning that makes him attempt to manipulate your mind by planting ideas, such as making you believe you cannot live without him or that your life will be problematic without him. Any issues in your relationship with him are portrayed as your fault because you do not know how to handle or understand him. The narcissist will manipulate you to make you believe in his delusions, accusations, or that you were the cause of the relationship's collapse or any mistreatment he inflicted upon you. He wants you to doubt yourself, constantly feel guilty, and insecure after separating from him. He is adept at skillfully distorting facts and transforming from the aggressor to the victim. The victim may actually believe him, questioning whether they are the reason for any problems and thinking that they mistreated him, while the narcissist goes to great lengths to make the breakup appear to be your fault, and you carry the blame. The narcissist will use manipulation techniques on you, and he is highly skilled in them to ensure your return to the relationship. For instance, he might exploit your specific vulnerabilities to exert pressure on you, negotiate with you, or threaten you if you continue to refuse to reconcile. 
Of course, you should not be surprised if you find yourself in the love bombing or emotional drowning phase at the beginning of the relationship. During this time, the narcissist perceives your studies, gathers and stores all possible information about you, preparing for the day when you might tire of his mistreatment and contemplate leaving him. At that point, he starts threatening you with anything he knows about you, turning it into a weakness to pressure you and ultimately force you to submit and return to the relationship. The narcissist may also reach out to your friends and use them to pressure you to return by gaining their sympathy. He may manipulate and mislead them, making them believe that he did not intend the offenses or that he may have deceived them with lies about you, blaming you for all the problems and mistakes in your relationship. He will try to involve as many of your friends or acquaintances as possible to pressurize you, convincing them with lies about you. Don't be surprised if you find that your friends or acquaintances are actually pressuring you or accusing you of being the one at fault, as he is undoubtedly capable of manipulating people's minds and those around you to achieve his goal. The narcissist may use social media to pressure you by posting updates that suggest he is a victim or suffering because of you. He might post about a potential new romantic connection with someone else, trying to make you think or regret the separation and create the impression that he is living a normal life without you. One of the significant reactions of the narcissist when he feels he has lost you or when you reject returning to the relationship is to try to apologize with fake apologies. He will pretend to have changed, presenting himself as a different person, and ensuring that everything that happened between you was unintentional. His apologies might even reach a point where he sheds tears to exploit your sympathy, making it difficult for you to resist his desire to regain you. The narcissist will not leave any avenue or idea that could make him reach you and bring you back, regardless of how unethical or manipulative the idea may be. However, it is crucial to understand that you should not make any decisions under pressure or under the influence of these manipulation tactics. It is undoubtedly deception and attempts to deceive and trap you again in the narcissistic abuse. These are some of the tactics the narcissist might employ if he senses that he has lost you or if you refuse to return. Be aware and fully understand what is happening exactly with the narcissist's actions towards you. I hope this episode has been informative for you, and hopefully, in the next episode, we will meet with a new topic about narcissism. Thank you, and peace be upon you.